What's up, everybody? Jared Sandler here with you after the Rangers drafted Kumar Rocker, a righty out of Vanderbilt with their third, uh, the third overall pick, their first round pick, and uh, their only pick here for quite some time. The Rangers, of course, do not pick in the second or third rounds because of the signings of Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon. Uh, obviously, this pick was a surprise uh, in a lot of the conversations leading up to the draft. I don't think people had Kumar Rocker uh, as uh, the guy the Rangers were going to take. And I think just as the case with any surprise, you have to take a second to process it before you uh, really start to assess it, as opposed to that immediate reaction of, oh, my gosh, you know, I can't believe they did this. And, uh, you know, the, the most succinct way to, I guess, explain that pick is uh, less than two years ago, a lot of people thought Kumar Rocker was the lock to be the number one overall pick going into his junior year at Vanderbilt. And then as his junior year progressed, there were thoughts, okay, he might not be number one, but maybe he's number two or three. And, you know, he ended up falling to the Mets at 10 in part because of inconsistent fastball velocities, which, you know, we ended up learning was due to some shoulder stuff, which needed to be cleaned up. The Kumar Rocker camp hasn't necessarily been incredibly uh, detailed about what exactly uh, the surgery was, but uh, what we know is that he came back out of the surgery, made five starts an independent ball in the front uh, frontier league. And he's throwing harder than he was at Vanderbilt. And by all accounts, the stuff looked, if not as good, better. So you've got a guy who less than two years ago was thought to be a number one overall pick type talent. And he's now throwing better than he was then. I mean, it's not hard to then see why he was taken as highly as he was. I think a part of the surprise is that uh, the people who get paid lots of money to uh, project these sorts of things with the mock drafts and whatnot didn't have him uh, anywhere near that spot. Now, maybe for good reason, maybe not. You know, the, you never know with these picks. Uh, no one is a sure thing. I think with Kumar Rocker, the Rangers are simply confident in the fact that his shoulder is healthy uh, and that the guy who was thought to be a, a top end talent is the guy they're going to get not just now, but for years to come. Uh, the Rangers, obviously, you know, from a, uh, a poetic standpoint, they they get the the number one and number two guys in that two headed monster in that Vanderbilt rotation and lighter and rocker. Rocker's a guy with an electric fastball and a really good slider. Uh, you know, the questions when he was at Vanderbilt was about developing that change up. But, you know, just like a lot of guys, uh, you know, there's not that perfect prospect. Right. The Steven Strasburg's of the world don't come around a lot. You know, Strasburg was thought as maybe the most complete college pitching prospect uh, in a long, long time. And maybe since, and, you know, look at his career, obviously he, he's had a lot of success, but it's not like Steven Strasburg's uh, booked a, a first class ticket to the hall of fame. So you just never know with these things, uh, a few things to consider. Remember uh, you can't trade in the baseball draft. You can't trade down like you can in other drafts. So, for people saying, well, you know, people uh, weren't going to take him until the 20s or whatever. They shouldn't have taken him then. Well, the Rangers didn't have a pick in the second or third round. So if they love the guy, that was the time to get him. They can't trade down and get other assets because they value a guy uh, in a way that others maybe don't. Uh, I think with Kumar Rocker, the other thing to consider uh, is that, you know, this is a college guy plus one, right? He's He's got a little bit of experience now playing indie ball uh, he's a guy that can move quickly through the system is that why they drafted him no I, I don't think that's necessarily why but it is something to consider uh, you know it's funny if people are upset that the Rangers drafted a pitcher when for years and years and years in this organization the narrative was uh, that they should stop focusing so much on hitters and and start focusing more on pitching now I will say you know the counter to that is that you know, this was an opportunity for the Rangers to perhaps select an elite bat, uh, a guy with that sort of potential, whether it was Jackson Holiday, who didn't fall and I think would have been their pick had he fallen, or uh, uh, Elijah Green, who was obviously available, Tremar Johnson, Kevin Prada, uh, those types of guys. Uh, perhaps the Rangers were a little more uh, unsure about some of their shortcomings compared to Kumar Rockers, or maybe they just liked Kumar Rockers' positives more than they liked those guys' positives. Maybe it's also an indication of how the Rangers plan to not just pursue the rest of this draft, but pursue this offseason and beyond and, and maybe loading up with major league developed position player talent uh, while building the pitching from within. Maybe it's a combination uh, or maybe the Rangers just really love what they have at the lower levels of their farm system with position players like Luis Angel Acuna uh, and Evan Carter. 
And also remember, again, we don't know, you know, we, we claim to know that these guys are going to be this or that. We don't know. Uh, these are 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 year old kids, uh, 22 year old kids, 23, whatever the case, these are young kids uh, whose developments uh, and, and trajectories are all unknown. Uh, so, you know, you don't have to have a top five pick to get an elite talent. It just seems like more often than not, they come uh, the closer to the top of the draft. And so I think that's obviously one reason why there is a little bit of surprise. Uh, and the other thing too, is I think a lot of people in these moments are very emotional about how this is the only way, or this is the, uh, the best way, or this is, you know, you're not going to be able to do this. A lot of, uh, definitive statements are made when the reality is teams are built, uh, through several avenues, players, uh, ascend to stardom through different paths. Uh, and, you know, just because the Rangers didn't draft a, a, an elite bat with this pick doesn't mean that they aren't going to draft one with subsequent picks. And on the counter to that, uh, it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, this pick is going to for sure work out, but the Rangers are betting that Kumar Rocker is healthy. And if he is healthy, he probably is going to be a really good starting pitcher in this league. So just some immediate thoughts. Uh, don't think there's going to be any problem with the Rangers ability to sign him. Uh, there's a chance he signs under slot. Uh, and perhaps that additional money can be used as the draft continues, uh, which could be of benefit since the Rangers don't have the slot valuations for the second and third round. So uh, there you go. Uh, the Rangers draft Kumar Rocker with the third overall pick. The draft continues tomorrow and goes through Tuesday.